EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Market here with your outlook for April 14th, 2023. It is Friday, end of the work week, finally. Hopefully you're playing hooky today, called an early week to catch the one last day of the extremely warm temperatures before we actually get to summer. It's going to be a while, I think. Uh, but we're going to have some very warm temperatures again today. Uh, but not completely mostly sunny across the entire region. I'll get to that here in a second. The Friday video forecast is sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family-owned and operated business with two locations in the Lehigh Valley. Their original Southside Allentown location is at 102 East Susquehanna Street, and their second location, McCall Collective Tap House, is in Trexler Town at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Both feature new spring menus to check out and are open seven days a week. They have 21 beers in total on draft between the two locations, eight available for takeout, uh, along with local wine and cocktails, and they have trivia nights every week at both locations as well. They also have a new release this week. It's actually a beer series. You're going to have to check that out. Uh, it uh, sounds pretty interesting to me, Some, something I, I would be interested in. If you have a love for history of beer, they have a, a uh, spe the Speakeasy series or, there is, is what it's called, but it's uh, apparently getting grave reviews, and I want to try it for myself. For more information about the upcoming events, they have visit their Facebook page or to place online orders. Visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. So I mentioned you're going to have uh, another very warm day today, as you can see above me. 82 to 89. Won't be surprised if some areas touch 90 again. We had it happen a few places yesterday. And uh, it is not unprecedented for it to be this early. It's close, though. Uh, some areas have, uh, you know, did set records yesterday, but it wasn't... Uh, it's not the earliest on record, okay? They had a 90-degree day. Uh, I think uh, 2010, I think if, I, if memory serves me right, somebody just asked me this yesterday. I think it was April, uh, April 7th, 2010. We had a really, really hot day across the region. But it's a similar situation uh, to then that you don't have high humidity with this. So if you're going to get the temperatures that high in April, you're going to have to have very low humidity, okay, because of the mixing out ratio and things like that. If you had very high humidity, Temperatures will come down a little bit, okay? Because you have, again, better mixing out of the dew points. So with the dew points being so low, temperatures are able to soar when you have very strong ridging like we've had over the past couple of days. And so we're going to make another run today. Those areas that are going to be favored for the very warm temperatures are going to be actually our northern and northeastern areas. So when you get up to like places like Scranton, Wilkesbury, when you get over to uh, northern New Jersey, those areas actually have a better chance of seeing that than anywhere else. And further south, it'll be actually a little less... Uh, the temperatures will be a little bit lower today because those clouds are going to be moving in faster. So here's uh, the clouds are in association with the storm system off to our south is going to be affecting our region somewhat on Saturday. Don't get too excited yet. I'll show you why. Uh, but I want to get over to uh, maybe move this forward here and just show you what this does. So this is going to come in. This evening, I think it's going to be a lot of dry air in place, so the simulated radar I'm about to show you is going to show maybe a few showers moving through this evening, but I don't think that's going to actually reach the ground because we're going to be so dry. So you have a better chance here on Saturday, and it's going to be favoring the afternoon, okay, as those humidity values come up and it can actually reach the ground. So the global models are suggesting that you're going to have some showers here on uh, throughout the day here on Saturday, and then this uh, pulls away Saturday evening. And then we have a dry day here on Sunday where it's just mostly cloudy, okay? You will see some sun on Sunday, but no precipitation on Sunday because this frontal boundary is delayed, and we talked about this yesterday. So let's get over, before we get to that, let's get to the name high res future simulated radar. I'm using a composite reflectivity here, so it's trying to pick up everything that's falling from the clouds. I don't doubt that this will be falling from the clouds as it's starting us off at 6 p.m. today, actually, going through the course of the evening. But this is so light, this is probably not going to be reaching the ground because your humidity values are going to be way too low. So it's going to eat it up. So not expecting anything this evening at all. Uh, late in the overnight when the, uh, the, uh, the dew points are able to come up a little bit and the uh, humidity comes up a little bit, you might have... Uh, like a late night shower here in a few spots, maybe even Saturday morning. But this is very, very light stuff, okay? And as I go through the afternoon, you got a better chance at something a little more organized. But it's even there, it's hit or miss. So not all areas are going to see rain on Saturday. and or, or if you do, it could be just be for a short time and that's it, okay? So there's not a lot of rain here. Not a lot at all, and we it's unfortunate because we we, uh, we need the rain, and if we're going to have a rainy day or cloudy day, like it's going to be mostly cloudy day on Saturday, and you're going to have the threat of showers, you might as well just get rain out of it and get it over with, right? Because we need the rain. But uh, if you do have anything out playing outdoors on Saturday, all is all hope is not lost, okay? You have 
you know, baseball games, soccer games for the kids, whatever. Uh, the same thing is going to be applying here. You're just going to be dodging a few maybe light intermittent showers coming through during the course of the day, okay? And it's going to be favoring the afternoon and evening. This goes all the way through the evening, and then this goes away. Um, so I'm not really expecting too much out of this here on Saturday. Then we get a long break here uh, in between systems on Sunday. Again, Sunday is going to be dry the entire day, mostly cloudy. Once you move this forward, this is going to come through late in the overnight. It's probably after midnight. Actually, so it slowed down that much earlier in the week. It looked like it was coming in Saturday, or excuse me, Sunday afternoon. Now it looks like it's going to be uh, later in the overnight. Okay, and it's going to go into early Monday morning before this pulls away, and then you'll have uh, some partial clearing later in the day here on Monday. But temperatures are going to come down significantly over the weekend. Temperatures will be back in the 70s. Okay, still very warm, still above average, but back into the 70s. And then Monday, you're about you're near average and uh, low to mid 60s. Okay. Then on Tuesday, as this trough settles in behind it, not expecting any precipitation, just partly to mostly cloudy skies, uh, but we're going to have temperatures in the 50s for highs. So we're back down to reality. Not actually reality. That's actually below average on Tuesday for a single day. We're looking at uh, you know mid to upper 50s for highs. So it's going to be a lot, it's going to be a shock compared to what we just uh, what we're experiencing today and yesterday and actually the last couple days. Uh, but after that, we go back to uh, the 60s here on Wednesday. And then uh, on Thursday, we're back up to near 70 degrees, and I think we're going to remain that way on Friday of next week as well. So we have a little bit of a warm-up ahead of the next boundary, which is going to come in after that. Uh, yes, it is coming in next weekend, another cold front. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. We have a long time to look at that and see what that does, but it does look like it's going to turn warmer again at the end of the next week, just not to the level we're going to be doing now. We're going to talk about like 70, 72-ish, Okay. Uh, which is still nice, but uh, it, it's still, even that is slightly below, uh, slightly above average at that point. Omni PAWA meteorologist Bobby Marchers, that is your outlook for April 14th, 2023. Have a great Friday.